What's going on? Welcome back to another episode and today we are going to be exploring the Dolomites. So if you didn't know, the Dolomites are an Italian mountain range right here and it is stunning. It's one of my favorite places on earth and I think I've been there maybe five times so far. So yeah, we got 48 hours before we have to head over to Milan because I have a flight to catch to go to Greece. So in these 48 hours, we're going to try to explore a little bit. Uh, we're going to hit up a lake and a mountain and I'm going to bring you along with us so you can see how to get there and also what's to see there. So yeah, right now we're in Austria because it's the cheapest place I could find a place to stay because Europe's expensive right now. And Lago de Bryce is only 45 minutes away. So we're gonna start driving, head over there and show you what it's like. Seven. Seven. Thank you. So a lot has changed since the last time I was here in October. Turns out the parking lot that's closest to the lake is for reservations only, which we do not have a reservation for. I didn't know we needed one because I didn't need one last time. So yeah, uh, we got sent down to this parking lot, which is not bad because it's only like 30 seconds away from that parking lot. So yeah, parking was seven euros, which is actually really affordable. And the lake is more or less free to visit. So yeah, you pay for parking, but you get to visit the lake free. I'm ready. I wanted to see the lake. She wanted to get coffee. Priorities. Pure joy. This is this is true. Coffee right. first. Coffee first. First impressions? I'm speechless. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's important to know. Can we make a reservation? We didn't make any reservations. Oh, we made it to the famous Lago de Bryce. This is my seventh time here now, so it feels like home. And I just love this place. It's so beautiful. And you can actually rent a boat and go paddle out on the lake, which is amazing. In the summer, apparently they open around 7 a.m. until 8 p.m. And around the fall time, so September, October, they open at 9 and close at 5 or something like that. I'll put the hours somewhere here. And you actually can't pay by card, so you have to bring cash if you want to rent a boat. And I'll put the prices here as well, um, so you can check it out. It is now 8.30, and I think this is getting really, really nice in terms of lighting. So you don't really need to come for sunrise, in my opinion. A lot of people come for sunrise. I've done it before myself. And you just end up standing there waiting for the light to come out. So it's kind of useless. You could just sleep a little longer. Um, but yeah, I think maybe in half an hour, when the sun starts to hit the lake, that's when we're going to get a boat out and we'll uh, go for a little paddle. Dang, that's a lot of people. Vanessa and I ended up talking a lot and we lost track of time and now it's 9.30 and there's a lot of people. So if you do choose to come and paddle on the lake, 9 a.m., perfect time in the summer. Otherwise, you're gonna be stuck in line like we are. Oh my gosh. That's for you. Amazing. Enjoy. Thank you. Alrighty. So $35 for an hour of paddling. We're ready. Right. Perfect. Have fun. Thank you. Whoa. Is it recording maybe? I think so. Is there a red square? I think I have to go this way to turn left. Oh, no, the other way. We need to find a good angle to uh, shoot from. I think maybe facing the mountains would be nice. And also make sure not to hit anybody. Your turn to row me. Of course. When you trust me. I think you're gonna hit them. I'm so sorry. That's okay, you're good, you're good, no worries. So that's Lago de Bryce, stunning. Definitely a must do here in the Dolomites. After this, we're gonna drive back to Austria to our Airbnb, work a little bit, eat some food, and then off to hike. What the heck? So while it's free to visit, it's 30 euros for a car. That's new. Okay. Hey, buddy. Those are the three peaks. And that is where we're trying to get to. So it's 7.30. We are here at Trecime di Lavarado. This is one of my favorite places in Italy, and it really means a lot to me because this is actually one of the very first places I've ever visited in Italy. Now, unfortunately, Vanessa couldn't join us because she has some work to do, so I'm out here shooting sunset all alone, and I really wish she was here. I kind of miss her already, and I hate having these experiences without her. Sunset is in about an hour and 20 minutes, so yeah, we're trying to book it to our sunset spot, which is about a 40 minute walk. And this spot, I usually shoot this during sunrise, but we're gonna go check it out for sunset. I think it might be pretty good. I didn't see light hitting the mountain, which is nice. So yeah, 
mission, get to the sunset spot as soon as possible. Oh, we made it. We made it in 20 minutes. It's kind of crazy to think that I was here four years ago and I'm very excited to see the photos I take today and compare them to the photos I took four years ago. Um, but yeah, this spot wasn't even popular four years ago. No one knew about it. There wasn't even a pin on Google Maps, but now there is, which is kind of crazy for me. But I am going to sign off right now and then just shoot with the drone because I'm out of battery on this camera. So let's jump on the drone.